your mom. Not that there's anything wrong with that, it's just that is not the stage of life that I am in right now. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Nelly. Welcome back to my channel, or if it's your first time here, hi, hello, welcome. So happy to have you here. Today's video is a very exciting one because I am going to be doing a little eyeshadow tutorial, a little review on the new One Size Beauty Visionary Palette by the one and only Patrick Starr. I'm sure you guys know who Patrick is, but if you don't, I will have his channel linked down below. I am so incredibly proud of him. Patrick is actually from Florida, so I low-key feel like I know him in a way, but I don't. I've never met Patrick, but I am so incredibly proud of him. I love the meaning behind his brand. Makeup is a one-size-fits-all. It doesn't discriminate. It doesn't matter your age, color, nothing in makeup matters. It's a way to have fun. So I, of course, had to pick up his new Visionary palette and I did this eyeshadow look for you guys. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this eyeshadow look using the brand new One Size Visionary eyeshadow palette. We are gonna go ahead and get started by putting our hair away from our face so that we have a clean canvas to work with. I am going to start off by priming my eyelids and taking my favorite concealer. This one is from CoverGirl and it's the True Blend Concealer. And I'm going to be applying this all over the lid and I'm also going to be applying this in the inner corner of the eyes because I do tend to get some darkness there. And then I'm just gonna blend that out using a beauty sponge. Going into the Visionary Palette from One Size Beauty by Patrick Starr, I am going to take the shade Mango and I am going to apply this to my crease. And this is going to be my transition shade. Mango is a matte peachy shade that is going to make blending perfection. Next, I am going to be taking the shade Booked and Booked is a matte kind of terracotta shade. It's absolutely gorgeous and I know it's gonna be one of the most popular shades in the palette. I mean, look at this pigment, it's amazing. And I am going to apply this shade in the inner and outer corner of the eyes and I'm going to connect it in the crease. We're going to be creating a halo eye, so just make sure that you focus most of the color in the inner and outer corner. Next, I'm gonna be taking the shade Suede Charm and this is a beautiful light kind of matte yellow brown shade and I am going to to apply this in between our transition shade and in between the shade booked just to further blend and further smoke out the eye and make it nice and seamless. Next, I'm gonna be taking the shade Brownie and this is like a cool tone dark brown and I'm just gonna use this to just add more depth to the eye. So again, I am just applying this in the inner and outer corner just to make things a little bit darker. I'm gonna take a concealer brush with a little bit more of that concealer that we used to prime the eyelids and I'm going to begin to kind of carve out the center of the lid because I do want this look to be more of a halo eye. So I am first going to draw a line down the center of the eyelid and then I'm just going to continue to carve out the rest of the bottom center of the eyelid. I hope that made sense, but if it didn't, just watch what I'm doing and I promise you it will make perfect sense. I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Title Holder, which is a beautiful gold shade, and I am going to begin to place this in the center of the eyelid. The center where we applied that concealer, I'm taking a little brush and I'm making sure to just focus this color in the very center of the eye. Taking the shade Walnut Strut, I am going to begin to place this on both sides, either side, I think that's how you say it, of the gold shadow that we applied in the center of the lid. And this is just going to make everything blend in and just look a little bit more seamless and a little bit neater because it's just going to make everything kind of just flow. And I absolutely love this technique because it makes a halo eye look super easy. I'm gonna go ahead and take a makeup wipe and I'm just gonna wipe off any excess fallout, which surprisingly enough, I didn't actually have a lot, but I always do this step just to make sure that everything is nice and neat for when we go ahead and do our face makeup. 
I'm gonna go ahead and begin to work in the lower lash line so I'm taking a little bit of concealer and I'm going to apply that to the under eyes and then I'm just gonna go ahead and take that same beauty sponge that we use to blend out the concealer all over the lid and we're gonna blend the concealer that's in our under eye I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade brownie once again and I am just going to apply this really close to the lower lash line I really want the lower lash line to be nice and smoky so I am going to start off by just applying this really close to that lower lash line I'm gonna take the shade booked once again and I am just going to apply this in the lower lash line to just further blend and further smoke it out I had to use a green shade in the palette it was just calling my name so I am going to take all of it and I am going to put this in my inner corner and this is going to be my inner corner highlight to line my waterline I am just taking a white pencil but of course you can do a nude I just couldn't find my nude pencil so I did white but you can do nude you can do brown you can do black any color works with this eye I'm gonna go ahead and apply mascara and I'm gonna be using the kiss pompadour lashes that is going to complete today's video I wanted to mainly just focus this tutorial on the eyes because I mean this just deserves a video on its own if you want to see how I did my face makeup definitely check out my other tutorials because I do the same routine in every single one of my videos I'll link some tutorials for you guys if you're interested in seeing how I did my face makeup again I just want to say a huge congratulations to Patrick this palette is absolutely gorgeous and I cannot wait to see what other stuff you come out with because I know, I know you're going to kill it and it's going to be amazing and I'm going to be right there spending all of my money. Quick little review on the palette. I would have to say that I loved the eyeshadows. I love the selection of colors that we get. This is like your perfect go-to everyday palette. We still have tons of neutrals. It has a black, it has a cream, it has great transition shades, and it has some fun pops of colors. You have a blue, you have a gray, you have greens. So this is a great everyday kind of go-to palette. You can do a neutral eye, you can do something a little bit more colorful if you want to. So that is amazing. I do have to say that the eyeshadows do apply a little bit darker on the eyelid than they appear on the pan, but I'm okay with that. I don't think that's a big deal. I would prefer the eyeshadows to be more pigmented rather than less pigmented, so that is not really a deal breaker for me. I actually quite like that, but maybe some of you don't like that maybe some of you want to see a color and be like okay that's the color that i'm going to be applying but just know that they do apply in a little bit darker so just start off light and then of course build love the i don't know if i said this already but i love the formula i think the shimmer shades specifically are amazing well the mattes are great too but the shimmer shades it's really really hard to find good shimmer shades that just apply nicely without having to go in and kind of wet your brush to get that really frosted shimmery glittery look and i find that these eyeshadows apply super pigmented the shimmer shades apply super pigmented and you can go in with a fix plus but you don't have to they still go on nice and pigmented without having to wet your brush so yeah love the palette definitely something that I'm going to continue to use and continue to play with I did go ahead and do something a little bit more neutral for today but I can do more color with the palette so if you want to see that definitely let me know down in the comments that is going to complete today's video short and sweet to the point like you guys all like it I hope you enjoyed this video as always if you did please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more beauty fashion and lifestyle videos also don't forget to turn on those post notifications so that you don't miss an upload I upload every Monday and Thursday and for the month of August I am actually going to be tweaking my uploading time a little bit so instead of uploading at 4 p.m. I'm going to start uploading at 11 a.m. Kind of want to play around with the times a little bit so i'm gonna try 11 a.m and see how i like it maybe i'll be back to the 4 p.m but for now there's going to be new videos mondays and thursdays at 11 a.m eastern time i love you guys so much thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video Mwah.
Bye.